Hey guys, this is Dan Dingman from Commit Swimming. I'm here today to um, show you a little bit about how parents get onboarded to the Commit Team Suite. So this is for both you parents and the coaches, you guys. Um, this is an email. So on the coach side, you're going to click invite to, um, you can invite all your swimmers at once or invite um, an individual parent, however you want to do it. Once you click that button, everyone that that got that button clicked to will get an email that looks like this. It'll say your Commit Swimming Team Suite parent invitation, and they will have a link to click here. So all parents out there, you'll click this link. That's where you're gonna set your password. It just says set your password and you enter it twice, log in, then you're in. Once you're in, um, this is what the parent view looks like. Again, this is for both coaches so that you know what they see and for parents so you know how to use this thing. Um, so there's a few things on the side here, and then you have your children's names. Um, so dashboard, you see three things here, upcoming meets, team programs that you are or are not registered for yet, and invoices, anything that's open. So anything that you owe money for right now is going to be front and center of your screen. Um, you can see here, not registered, not registered, not registered. Let's go ahead and click on one of these. Um, so meet signups. So the first thing you'll see as a parent is that we go straight to the register athletes section. There's also a meet information section, which gives you attachments on the meet and different information, what the cost is per event, all this fun stuff. And then it's also going to show you what you owe after you register your swimmers right here. So to register swimmers, you have two swimmers here. First thing you do is you commit the swimmer to the meet. Then you're gonna see all the available entries and the swimmer's best times for those events. And if you were able to register, so this registration deadline has passed, you would click a little plus button that would be here and it would sign the swimmer up for the meet. So I'm gonna go ahead and decommit the swimmer um, and get out of here. So that's meet signups for you. On the calendar side, you're gonna see the entire team's calendar and also if there's any specific events that you're invited to, um, you'll see them here. So at the top here, we have a bunch of different tags, filters, uh, generic events, meets that are upcoming, meet registrations, program registrations that are open, and practices. So for instance, if we just wanna see meets on the calendar, we just do this. Um, you can see the calendar in month view or week view as well. You can also, let's go to practices. Yeah, so you can easily see the practice schedule by week right here. Um, what times the different groups are practicing. And if you click on it, you'll see different information, whether an RSVP is requested or required by the coach, any attachments, descriptions, etc. So like, for instance, if I go to a meet, there's probably an attachment, yeah. Attachment right here, um, dates, and then I go to the meet and it'll send me right back over to the meet information that I just showed you. On the messaging side, um, this is all your received messages come in uh, to here and then you can also send messages to all the staff or just a specific coach um, if you select also send email it's going to send an email to that coach as well not just a message within commit um, anything that you start to set up will become a draft which is what you see right here I'm going to go ahead and delete that draft on the payment side this is going to show you your payment methods that you have on file, your current balance, so the admins have the ability to credit or debit your balance if there's just adjustments that need to be made. So you'll see if there's any balance that's gonna be credited to your next invoice or not. Um, any active subscriptions or enrollments, so if like you're on, if you have a monthly um, fee for two of your swimmers, say, this will show you what those fees are, if there's any coupons applied, uh, when the next invoice is gonna be due, all that kind of fun stuff. And then this will be any open invoices right now, so for instance, um, for one-off payments, uh, for meets, stuff like that, and then any recent payments that you've made. So this will show you um, receipts, etc. So in this example, we can go over here and we can view the invoice or we can pay the invoice. Um, those are two things that we can do as a parent. Same thing in recent payments, you'll be able to view your receipt. Um, what else can you do? And probably view the invoice as well under payments. Um, so that's everything you need to know about the money in the club. And then here you go to each individual swimmer and you basically have a profile for that swimmer. So any coach notes or athlete goals um, that are set for the coach, by the coach, and then best time. So this is gonna be a list of all the swimmers' best times 
um, that are going to be used for meet entries and you can change the course you can filter you can go to see all events even if they have no time you can sort in by stroke distance you can filter by stroke and distance um, and you can go to the full history which we'll get into in a separate video the full time history which is in a separate um, component of commit called the commit uh, performance suite right now we're in the commit team suite now to manage your swimmer as well you can add parents to the swimmers account you can um, view the sibling that you'll get navigated right over to Jeremy here emergency contact information athlete information contact information in general with the, so basically everything to do with managing your swimmers profile um, coaches may ask you to come in here and update something so this is where you'd come you'd come over here to the swimmers name and you'd update this information um, if you have more than one swimmer obviously they're all going to be listed down here and then here's a link to our help uh, support section which will link you right over to the videos that are relevant um, for the commit team suite that's everything that you need to know as a parent um, if you have any questions, you can reach out to us directly or you can reach out to your coach um, coach or admin first to see if they know the answer and then you can come to us. We want to hear your feedback in general about what's confusing, what's easy, what's nice to have, what you'd like to see. All, all of that stuff is useful for us um, as we continue to make the, com the commit team suite better, not only for the coaches and the admins and the team side, we want to make it as easy to use for the parents um, as, as possible. Like that's, that's a huge component of this, right? So thank you all for your time. Take care.